Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading for June 22nd, 2018. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's go to the spread. We got four card spread. The first card does expresses up the topic of that day, which is Friday, you know, 22nd of June. Uh, then we do have the next card, which is the challenges. Well, that card I usually take in that particular spread as a uh, card expresses up the worst possible way we can, uh, we can approach the situation that we are going to be involved in uh, during that day. Then we do have the third card, which is the positivity or the best possible approach that we could take toward the situations we're going to be involved during that day. And the last one is the long-term benefits, which we're going to reap in case we do keep these couple of conditions here checked. So let's see about the topic, what we got for that day. That will be the Ace of Pentacles. And Ace of, all the, as all the Aces, the Ace of Pentacles does promise us either a, a new beginning or a, a new enterprise. More likely a new enterprise as the brand new beginning is expressed by only one card and that's the full card. So we will do have a certain enterprise or a certain devotion that we, we can attend to. Now the thing with the Ace of Pentacles, however, guys, is that these things unfold very slowly. This is with all Pentacles cards, all right? So you can't expect results straight away. However, that card promises us that it is likely that we're going to have harmony into our relationships, either intimate or, uh, you know, business. And as well, the Pentacles is about material comfort and it does promise success into our business. That being said, uh, working wise, it does look like that this day is going to be very productive and it, it, it is very favorable for those who are about to initiate something regarding their business or the line of work. Ace of Pentacles is one of the cards saying that at this particular day, it will be most beneficial, you know, if we concentrate of improving our standard of living in the sense of, uh, you know, start surrounding ourselves not with luxury, but with comfort. And uh, the card that, that shows the worst possible approach to the situation here with the Nine of Pentacles is to go and do it on your own. As I said, we do have harmony into our relationships. So it will benefit us all if, uh, if we are capable to share our good fortunes or fortune with others and as well uh, allow those who want to help us to really really help us now the nine of pentacles is one of the cards pointing that uh, if we go in that particular position is that if we go for a monetary success or being independent etc etc we can definitely achieve that no no question about it because it does look like that we are very capable and experienced in those kind of situations which they have to preserve uh, to present into us even the new enterprises that we don't need help at all all right and uh, we can really show ourselves very independent. However, uh, that is going to create a, a lonely and empty existence moving on forward, because even if we succeed, which is very likely here with that new enterprise, there will be no one that we can share our success with, all right? And uh, that also brings the negative sides of that there will be no one there to accolade us and to appreciate what we did and to recognize us as a um, you know a skillful person if we're talking about your career the nine of pentacles is one of the cards where we have to be more polite with others even if we don't need them all right in a negative position is what I'm speaking. And cockiness, very important here. Do not be or do not uh, allow yourself to be over pride or kind of like overrate your 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 pride because uh, <clears throat> you will push away uh, a lot of uh, vital connections that you may have uh, or you can establish during that day, and they will not get back. And especially those who are dating right now, you know, showing uh, to the person that you are dating that you can be independent and that you don't need them at all, uh, it will be the worst uh, thing that you can do according to these cards because they will not ask you twice are you need them or not. And then we do have the third card which points to uh, the um, best possible way of um, approaching the situation. That will be the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is um, 
about dreams come true, of course, you know, it's a very positive card, but, but, it's, a card, but it's also a card of hard work. Because the, uh, the Nine of Cups is, is the card which um, expresses up, we are going to be emotionally fulfilled, so definitely we're going to like what the day has to offer to us, alright? But it's also, it will require, as I said, devotion, and it will require hard work, as this uh, short-term happiness can only be traversed into a, a long-term, consistent... Uh, um, success and happiness only if we work toward it. So uh, that card points that the best possible uh, approach toward your situation is to not take everything for granted, but rather uh, always approach those situations thinking of that uh, they can be lost in any minute. All right, so always be prepared, not for the worst, but take any precautionary measures if you have to, so um, you don't kind of like suffer losses along the way, which are very unlikely, but yet that will be the best possible approach. Also, this card, the Nine of Cups, it is a um, it is a card not about gratitude, guys, but about recognizing the small things in life, and not just only the small things in life, but uh, those things which helped you to forget poignant experiences. This is about emotional healing. It is what I'm trying to say here. And I'm saying that because some of us, which we do have that enterprise coming in our way, uh, it could be a, a, a repeatance from the past, right? Same enterprise that we do had in the past, in, we, in which we failed and kind of like right now that particular day we may feel ourselves very reluctant to involve ourselves into it because we may be afraid of failure now uh, as I'm saying that the combination of, of these cards here kind of uh, resembles the nine of swords in any way because the nine of swords is about that again you know being reluctant to involve because you do have that poignant experience from the past regarding uh, any enterprises, the newness, for example, if we do have here the nine of uh, the nine of swords, but anyway, this is about nine of swords. So here we are talking about emotional healing from the very positive end of that particular uh, of that particular. How can I place it? Uh, a picture, all right. And uh, that could be as well uh, an emotional healing from broken relationship, emotional healing from, as I said, failure into one career, because that new enterprise will allow us to believe in ourselves, into our capabilities once more, all right? It is just we should not be over... Um, that my, my word here is cocky, but kind of like over um, overconfident, all right? And... Uh, as I, again, I want to stress you that out that you need to allow those people which want to help you to help you, all right? And uh, it, does, it doesn't look like that they will ask for something in return. So just give them that pleasure and it will go a uh, for a long way. And now we do have the fourth card which points up the um, long-term benefits that we are going to reap based on that particular day. The devil card. So the devil card in a positive term of benefits is that we are going to obtain power to alter outcomes. And the power of the devil card, it is very strong in a, in a term of that uh, you will be able to call the shots. You will be able to decide how the thing is going to end. You will be able to basically arrange the things the way you want to arrange them. Uh, from another point of view, the devil also points that you will obtain something, guys, that your soul yearns about. Because the, the devil in a positive end is about feeding of a hunger of a soul, alright? So something that you have craved for from a long time now is going to be fulfilled based on the very initiation of this particular day. So that could be the dream job of somebody, alright? <clears throat> And as well, of course, the Devil card points that uh, you are in a conjunction with the Nine of Cups, all right, as a positive approach, it points to a healing from a past wrong choice made, all right? So this time you will have that repentance, uh, repentance and uh, you're, this time around you guys are going to make the right choice for a change. Uh, so it's kind of like, um, for what it seems here, it is kind of like a, a, a second chance but I can't even say that it is a second chance because it is a chance 
to do something right, right, which isn't exactly as something from your past, all right? Or kind of like to uh, exchange one poignant thing for another happy thing. Something like this is going to be that particular day. And uh, on top of that, you have to allow again those who want to help you to help you. Okay? Don't don't deprive them from that pleasure because these people really care for you and they are doing that from the bottom from the kindness of the bottom of their heart and uh, if you if you deny them that pleasure um, you will do nothing but make them feel that they are worthless for you and uh, that will serve you no great thing <clears throat> so that being said guys this was the daily reading for June 22nd 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now see you next time bye